Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art. This is a quick video post update about my conversation with Levi Halevi and Dana Dernford. Uh, first, let me tell you that I did tell Levi that I would not disclose the topics that we talked about or anything of our conversation until we're finished talking. We did not finish talking. It was much like I said that she was not aware of much of what has gone on on the YouTube community. She's not really a YouTuber. She's an anti-nuke activist who has her own radio show and her shows get posted on YouTube by um, UCY TV, but not by Libby Halevi. She doesn't even mirror them to her own YouTube show because she doesn't understand the YouTube thing. She had no concept of that, about how insulting she was. I honestly don't think uh, that she remembers everything that she said. So, um, we're going to talk. I encouraged her. We talked for about an hour today, and it became very apparent that there was a lot of information she did not know. And yes, indeed, she had bought the party line. And yes, indeed, she was aware that there was some error in her ways. And, you know, we're looking to create harmony in the anti nuclear movement. Part of my discussion with her was, uh, my gut feeling that why she felt entitled to make those offhanded horrible remarks about Dana was that the anti the establishment anti nuke community consider us to be fringe lunatics myself included I mean I have actually been called a co-conspirator to murder I've had people insult me on my YouTube channel that is tell me how what a idiot I was and how I don't understand a single thing and just shut the fuck up. I've had that said to me on my YouTube channel. I've deleted the comments and blocked those people. But, I mean, um, the vitriol regarding the nuclear industry comes from all sides. Not just the pro-nuclear, but the anti-nuclear towards those of us on YouTube. They have no concept of the amount of people that they are leaving out. They have an idea, but they're so afraid. They're like, they treat it like it's a political issue. And this is the, the real, I think, the danger of it all. It's not a political issue. It's a moral issue. It is uh, a spiritual issue. It's an environmental issue. It is not political. Killing the planet is not a political process. It is a moral obligation to save our planet from the nuclear cartel who does nothing but lie to us. Libby Halebi agrees with me on that one entirely. So we're going to finish up our conversation tomorrow. I am going to encourage her to talk to Dana. Maybe we'll do a three-way phone call. Um, I spoke a little bit with Dana. Understandably, he's pissed off. He's like, she's going to have to talk to me. Um, and I get it. I mean, that was... She knew nothing of his court date. I'll just tell you that. Like, So it came on a rough day. Uh, and frankly, my judgment in this is being questioned. People, Somebody today told me that they don't trust my judgment that uh, my judgment is questionable, that they are still believing that or examining Libby for being an insider of the nuclear industry to break us up, to keep us at bay, to stop our work. I disagree completely. And this person said, well, I'm going to do my homework, but frankly, I'm not so sure I trust your judgment. Okay, that's a fair assessment. I understand that. But um, I'm just updating you because there's a lot of people out there that thought Libby would not call me and not talk to me and that she wouldn't show up, that she's an insider. And, you know, my dog in this fight, frankly, is that when Kevin Blanche was dogging Dr. Helen Caldicott, started about a year ago, I personally did not stand up, make videos, and tell everybody I completely disagreed with Kevin. I told that to Kevin directly. Me and him had some pretty serious arguments about it. He acquiesced. He backed down a little bit, but I think he still holds that. Um, I have felt ashamed about that, frankly, ever since that happened. I, Dr. Caldicott has been the stalwart of this. She has been after this a long time, and granted, the establishment anti-nuclear industry has failed. That's what I told Libby today. The reason I supported Kevin is those, the standard people, I mean, here's Kevin Camps on Tom Hartman two or three weeks ago saying, a microscopic amount of radiation has gone into the Pacific Ocean. 
on a national television left wing liberal television show who he could have said anything he chose to say a microscopic amount of radiation is in the Pacific Ocean that's Kevin Camps he's part of the problem I get that and he's considered Mr. Oh I'm the uh, reasonable guy so you know I guess the fact that I'm willing to question these people and say that I don't bow down and kiss his toes and think he's Mr. Perfect. Uh, no, frankly, I don't. And this is where we're all at, right? All of us have these things going on, but I am encouraging the people that follow this video and are listening to my video to really hold your judgment because I still... I think that this can be an opportunity for us to learn how propaganda works, how we really have to just be smarter than the nuclear industry, we have to be kinder, we have to be more loving, and we have to just be on our toes about it. And when somebody falls through the cracks and believes the bullshit and offends our community, it's up to us to talk to them directly to say, what the fuck are you doing? We need to pull everybody together. And I know there's been some people who say that they will never forgive Libby Halevi. Well, you don't have to forgive her because guess what? She's going to continue her anti-activism work with us or without us. Just like Dana. Just like I said the other night when, you know, Dana got out of the jail cell the other day. He was right on the radio. In fact, Dana's going to be on my radio show on Wednesday. Yay. I'm happy about that. Uh so anyways, when I finish speaking with Libby, I'm sort of inclined to say I'm not going to say anything. I am hoping that Dana and Libby will talk. Dana will uh, accept her apologies, and those two will figure out a way to work together. Libby will be able to interview Dana, get some credibility on her show with him. And he, through that process, she will gain some credibility with him that his apologies are, her apologies to him will be accepted. Um, and that will just stop playing into the nuclear industry's hands. Because right now we have Fukushima is nonstop. And I think, frankly, it's getting worse. And most of us know what we're talking about. Anyways, I'm going to end here. And... You know, I don't know what my judgment is. Maybe I'm wrong. Who the heck knows? I'm not a perfect human being, but I'll tell you what. What I want is harmony. And I want us to focus on the real people that are harming our planet. And that is the nuclear cartel, the Department of Energy, who are grotesquely neglecting every single one of their duties. So put your courage feet on, you guys. I'll post another video uh, after I talk to Libby and over the weekend. But I really... I, especially for the Fukushima hounds, I would hope that you hold your judgment until this is all done or leave a crack or a window for people to turn around and say, I'm sorry. Because when you put all kinds of attacking remarks immediately, boom, 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 for somebody who makes a mistake, that's pretty intimidating. I mean, you know, I know when I come under attack on my YouTube channel, I feel afraid. I know, you know, I refuse to feel afraid. I delete them and move on and try to shake it off. It it does not leave a lot of windows. So I just encourage people to please take it easy on the nasty remarks until this whole thing gets settled. It's time for us to settle it. Anyways, put your courage feet on, you guys. It takes courage to walk in love, so and to ask questions. Ciao.